guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my June favorites. The first favorite was the Double Wear Foundation by Estee Lauder. I love this stuff. The shade that I'm using right now is Dawn. I need a foundation that's gonna last throughout the whole day, especially when I'm doing makeup or I'm just sweaty. This foundation always pulls through and it is pretty thick. So when I did the review on this foundation, I talked about how much you have to prep your skin if you do have dry skin in order to pull this foundation off. My skin is really, really dry at the moment or probably just dehydrated. So I always mix in some Farsali 24 karat gold infused beauty oil or I'll use the LC Glow Enhancer. I use this if I want a more moisturized feel and I use the Glow Enhancer if I want a dewier, glowier look. This foundation is medium to full coverage depending on how much you use you only need the least amount with this you need a tiny tiny bit and it'll cover your whole face Estee Lauder does have tons of shades so you can get Estee Lauder double wear at Macy's or any department store only certain Sephora's carry double wear or Estee Lauder in general which kind of sucks I feel like all Sephora should carry Estee Lauder because this truly is an amazing foundation I really really like it and it's not too expensive uh, when compared to like YSL, Dior, or other high-end foundations. Next up, I want to talk about the Smashbox High Definition Concealer, and this is in light. And I really love this concealer. I've been testing a lot of Smashbox products recently because I did get sent a huge PR package, and this is just a standout product for me. It just looks so flawless. It lasts really long. It's oil-free and it's high definition. I don't get any flashback with it, and I have it on right now. I just feel like it's high but still full coverage and it just looks really smooth under the under eye it never looks dry on me I use the RCMA powder to bake or I'll even just set it with like MAC MSF or just anything that I set this with it never looks cakey and I really like that and I also like the applicator it kind of has like a slanted tip so I just apply and blend away and it looks really really good so if you haven't tried this definitely try it I feel like it's definitely underrated I really like it. Another complexion product that I've been loving is the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Now, I used to use this a lot before. When I do the baking under my contour and I wipe this away, I will say that it does lighten a little bit. For me, this color works out because sometimes I bring my contour too low, and so this will kind of lighten that area. So I'm not sure how this will work on deeper complexions, but I really, really love this. It has a really strong scent if you're not into fragrance powders. You definitely won't like this one. This powder is known to be used by elder women, our grandmas, but I really like this. I will say the biggest con to this is that it's so freaking messy. I don't know about you, but when I get ready and I'm baking, I have powder everywhere. Like, I literally am about to buy, like, a huge towel just to put on me while I'm getting ready. Or, like, those barbershop capes. I'm literally about to start wearing one of those when I'm doing my makeup because this gets everywhere. But I love the results, but it's just so freaking messy. And I feel like any loose powder is messy. Even my RCMA, I have to get, like, a little tray and put the powder and then I waste powder. So, uh, I'm not crazy about loose powders because they're so messy but I love the finish and I love how it looks to just cut that contour and just really bake under there I haven't used this underneath my eyes I'm kind of scared because it is so powdery but underneath my contour it's amazing next up I want to shout out the makeup forever HD blushes I freaking love these. These are cream blushes that kind of dry to a powdery matte finish. It's really, really cool when you apply it with a brush. It just looks so flawless. I feel like really pigmented powder blushes just don't blend nicely. It starts looking really dry and flaky and cakey and just weird. And then you try to put more powder on top and then you're just layering so much product and then your cheeks just look really blotchy and patchy and choppy choppy and I don't like it so these cream blushes have been amazing I really love this one 225 and then I also have 330 so 225 is a little bit more on the corally peachy side and then this one is a little bit of a brighter pink and I want to get all of them they're that good especially for the summer I can't wait to use in the winter because they're not drying at all but in the summer I don't want my face to look powdery I want my face to just look like it's all one like my highlight is cream and everything is just cream I feel like cream products are just so underrated also don't get me wrong I love powder blushes but right now I'm just obsessed with these I only want to use these and I use a brush I usually use my morphe e4 which I'm really sad that it's discontinued like I'm not gonna stop talking about that brush E4 was my favorite is my favorite but anyway I love these and I use any blush brush with this 
but I'm kind of curious to see how it applies with the beauty blender because it is a cream product or with my fingers but my fingers that just scares me so I stick to a brush and I really love this and they last so long on the cheeks and if you do YouTube you know that these lights wash you out like it looks like you have no color to your face but these actually show up every time I wear these you guys are asking me what blush I have on so I love them and they just really blend into the skin and look like one which I like me like so the highlights that I can't stop using are the artist couture diamond glow powders by angel marino mac daddy oh my gosh so I purchased conceited a really long time ago and it was the only one that I owned and now I am a artist couture affiliate so I have a coupon code for you guys everything is always down in the description bar always put my coupon codes down below because I'm always trying to help a sister out but I swear by these. This conceited has lasted me so long. I just became an affiliate like two days ago and this has been used by me for so long. I really love these and now I actually own all of them which I'm so grateful for. The way I use these Diamond Glow powders, I'll use a fan brush like this, the Morphe M601. This is the type of brush that I use because it just dusts the powder really nicely. Now these are really fine shimmers and they have glitter particles in them so a regular fan brush sometimes will not work. It'll work but I just really prefer a brush like this or the Anastasia highlighting brush. This just gives me ultimate payoff, so I really like that. And they just look so bomb. My favorites are Conceited, Gold Digger, and Illuminati. They just give such a pretty sheen. Now this one is Conceited, this one is Gold Digger, and then this one is Illuminati. Whenever I take a picture with someone and we're standing under a ring light or we have our flashlight turned on, my highlight is always beaming and it's because I top off my other highlight with a diamond glow powder so because they are so shimmery and fine I sometimes use them on their own but my preferred way is to put them on top of Becca Opal or Becca Champagne Pop or Anastasia So Hollywood like any highlight that I'm using that day the artist couture just brings it to the next level so I use them when I'm going out when I'm filming because it just gives you that sheen I have on gold digger right now and I love it it's just a really reflective white gold and it just makes your highlights stand out even more in a non cakey way I've even seen a video where someone makes these loose powders into pressed powders so I definitely want to try that because that would be amazing for storage they are a little messy but they are highly highly worth the mess next up I want to talk about the balm Schwing liner so this is a black liquid liner and I've been abusing this one for the past month because it's so freaking matte and black this stuff is so so freaking pigmented I mean it's so black and it dries to the most gorgeous matte finish I love the look of a matte eyeliner especially when that wing is on fleek I mean it just can't get better than this and it dries so fast which I love I haven't been using my NYC one because I've been obsessed with this one I want to order three more the bomb is carried at certain drugstores, like certain Dwayne Reeds in the city, but I usually get them on Holt Look when they're on sale or online. If you don't have much time or if you have hooded eyes like me, when I do my liner, if I look up, it will transfer. So I love fast drying eyeliners because a girl with hooded eyes can definitely appreciate that because you don't want to have black liner everywhere. If you wear a lot of liquid eyeliner, you should be comfortable with this tip. It's kind of like a hard brush tip, but it's not really like a bristle kind of brush. It's very strange. It's just like an ink pen. If you're not comfortable with that, you can always do your liner with your preferred eyeliner and then just deepen it and darken it with this one after your eyelashes or just after you're done with your liner and I'm telling you your liner is gonna look so good. You guys have been commenting on my eyeliner lately and saying how much you like it and it's been this so love that. <sighs> this hourglass mascara is life. This is the film noir full spectrum mascara and it is so dark and I really like that. Now I have super dark hair so I'm always on the hunt for the darkest deepest mascara. The Chanel mascara is really expensive but it's super dark and I feel like this one is very comparable and it doesn't transfer crazy on me. Now I usually do something else on my lower lashes but I do have this on my lower lashes right now and so far so good. I don't have any black marks on my face. Linda from Morphe put me onto this and I'm so grateful because it's so bomb. I love it. My eyelashes have been a struggle lately because even castor oil is not working on them right now. I don't know. They look like they're just struggling, but at least they're really dark and deep and black. So I could appreciate a really dark mascara. And the next product is from the drugstore. I know you guys love when I talk about drugstore products. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Guys, 
This is so freaking amazing. Like, I'm so mad that I didn't include this in my drugstore favorites. But the only reason why I got this was because of you guys in my drugstore favorites telling me to try this. Seriously? Like, this is so bomb. Like, I love it. This is the best best eyebrow pencil from the drugstore. I don't care. It has the finest little tip, just like the Brow Wiz, even finer than the Brow Wiz. I have the shade Brunette, Dark Brunette, and Blonde. This one is Brunette, and I have it on my eyebrows right now. It lasts so long. It's the perfect color, and it's so thin. Now, I'm growing on my eyebrows, and I'm getting them done this week, so you're not going to see the struggle brows anymore. It literally takes me like 10 years to do my eyebrows when they're growing in like this. But this has made it so easy because it's so thin that I could just easily create those little hairs to fill in the spaces where I don't have hair. And the fact that it's drugstore is just a double plus. Okay, now let's talk about lip products. I have been using this nonstop since I got it. This is the Kylie Matte Liquid Lipstick and Liner in Exposed. It's what I have on right now, and this is my favorite, 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 favorite Kylie Liquid Lipstick. I have Candy, I have Coco, I have Posey, I have some other ones, Dolce, but Exposed is my favorite. And the reason being, it's the perfect nude. You guys know I'm crazy about my nudes, and this is just such a pretty nude. I love it. The lip liner is amazing, nice and creamy, and the liquid lipstick, it lasts so long, smells great, doesn't cake up on my lips, have it on right now, I'm telling you, it lasts so long. I have to do a review on these and like a try on so you guys can see all the colors. I don't know if it's because of my skin complexion, but the other ones just look either so pink on me or so dark, and I don't like that. I like true peachy nudes, I'm really into that, so when I found this one, I was like, Need it, gotta have it. That definitely did not let me down. And then I've been loving the Gerard Cosmetics Lip Liner in Nude. I talked about this one before, but I just wanted to give it a second shout out because it's so good. If you like overlining your lips, you're gonna love this one or Share. Share is a really pretty, like rosy color. If you don't wanna spend the money on MAC lip liners, Gerard Cosmetics always has a sale. Everyone on YouTube has a Gerard Cosmetics coupon code. And I'm gonna tell you something, I'm not a fan of the Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks themselves but these lip liners are bomb and their liquid lipsticks are also bomb I love uh, it's called everything's nice I believe but this is my favorite product from them hands down their highlighters their eyeliner their liquid lipsticks I have it all but they did really good with these lip liners they're a total 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 dupe for the Kylie lip liners I'm telling you they're good so nude is a really nice color I like the nude lip liner but I don't like the nude lipstick it's just too peachy on me but this is just a really pretty color and I love it and last but not least for lips, I've been abusing Ofra Sao Paulo. I've always loved Sao Paulo, but now I have the new packaging and I feel like it's a little bit different. Like the formula is a little bit better now. So this is it right here. It's a really nice color. I feel like Anastasia Pure Hollywood, which is my favorite Anastasia liquid lipstick, is either being discontinued. It's sold out pretty much everywhere. If you can find a Pure Hollywood, I beg you, I will buy it from you. Please let me know. No Macy's and no Sephora near me has Pure Hollywood. I'm very serious about this. Pure Hollywood is my jam and I'm very upset that it's nowhere to be found. But... Sao Paulo is definitely replacing it right now because I don't have Pure Hollywood. Pure Hollywood's a little more on the pink side. This is a little more peachy. It's a color that I can get away with just on its own. I don't have to put anything else. And I'm now an Ofra affiliate as well. I love having coupon codes for you guys because when I'm ordering something, I always look for a coupon code. I don't care where it's from. I look for a coupon code. And if I don't find one, I most likely don't order. I just hate paying for shipping and I hate paying full price. So I have an Ofra coupon code too. I'll have everything down in the description bar. Bel Air and Sao Paulo are definitely my favorite nudes. I love the name too. Sao Paulo. Quick shout out to the Wayne Goss eye brushes. I have 04 and 19. They're just really awesome crease brushes for small eyes, for hooded eyes, for people who have a really hard time deepening their crease. They feel like every brush is too big. Wayne Goss brushes. Yes, 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 yes. Everything about these brushes are amazing. They're super soft, have a nice weight to them. They blend like a dream, and I'm really, really impressed by these. And then this brush, this is a Sephora Pro Featherweight Fan Brush 92. When I ordered this online and I received it, I didn't expect it to be this soft. Like, I knew it was going to be soft because of the reviews, but this is the softest brush that I own, period. I mean, it's softer than my Marc Jacobs brush. It's softer than the Makeup Forever Fan Brush. 
is softer than any brush I have. It's so soft. And I like that because it gives me that really pretty sheen to my face. It won't give me like a super stark highlight. Like it actually blends as it goes because it is so large. So it covers a lot of my face and then it blends because it's so soft. I like using this with my Becca or any highlight like the Mirabella or Laura Geller and it just gives me an all around pretty glow. So I'll first go in with this one and then I'll go in with like a smaller fan brush to really give me that extra glow. I just put some highlight on my nose, on my cheeks, all around, pretty much all over my face. If you want to look like a glazed donut, get yourself this brush because you can highlight your whole face with this one real quick because it's so large and in charge and I like that. As far as skincare, I've been really incorporating a lot of oils into my skincare routine. You guys know the drill, dry skin, yada yada yada. Junk Elephant Marula Oil. I've talked about this before. This just gives you that super hydrated, oily look and I like that. I use this at night. Sometimes I use it in the daytime, but I just love how hydrating this stuff is. And I know some people were asking if this clogs my pores and it hasn't. Junk Elephant is all about that natural flow. So I know that I'm not putting chemicals, fragrances. It says this is virtually untouched by any chemical or fragrance natural or synthetic and remains in its purest form and I like that I want pure oil on my face it is definitely worth the splurge in my opinion the goal is to not wear so much foundation or to get the most out of your foundation you'll notice that once you start hygiening your face and really taking care of your skin even if you like that full coverage look you're gonna use less product because you don't need that much product because there's not that much to cover up my main issues right now are my dry skin and my dark spots but my dark spots have been going away dramatically because of this product this is the Shiseido white lucid micro targeting spot corrector Guys, this stuff is like brujeria. I don't know, it's crack in a bottle. Seriously, I used this three times. I'm not kidding you. And my spots are dramatically reduced. Like, what? What, what, what? When I do my makeup on a get ready with me with no makeup on, you guys are like, whoa, your skin looks better. What's going on? It's this. If you look at the reviews on Sephora, I'm not the only one that's experiencing this magic. For so long, I was just debating, like, what dark spot corrector should I get? I was just like, why didn't I think about Shiseido before? I was gonna get, you know, the Murad dark spot lightener. I was looking at all the dark spot lighteners, but then Shiseido came into my life. And you know, Shiseido's all about that super bright, even complexion so I'm very very impressed by this and I feel like if I used it every single night I would have amazing results but I am a lazy girl sometimes and I forget to use this but I'm telling you with those three or four times using this I've seen a dramatic difference and I like that because it's expensive and it's gonna last you such a long time it's very lightweight you're not gonna feel it it's not gonna be sticky you apply it it basically goes away and you wake up and you're like wow my face looks bright and even and it's crazy first fragrance I want to talk about is Stella by Stella McCartney this is like my fresh out of the shower I just want to smell classic and clean it's not a heavy bottle and it's a small bottle so I really like that because this is like my on-the-go perfume I'll just throw this in my purse whenever I get compliments on a perfume I know it's really good and this one I always get compliments this next one is from Mac this is Mac Turquatic I always bust this one out in the summertime because it just again and smells so clean so crisp so fresh and this one is so unique it smells like the Mac store and it's like who doesn't want to smell like the Mac store I mean it's like makeup heaven smells good all the girls that work there are so pretty and they have their makeup done and they're all fresh and their outfits are nice and it just smells really good I always wear this when I'm going shopping because it just gives me that shopping feel even the small bottle will last me but I love this one in the summer I feel like it's such a summer scent and it's so unique I feel like not a lot of people know about Max Sense. I definitely want to get the other one, the floral one. It's very overpoweringly floral, but I kind of like it. So yeah, Max Aquatic, don't sleep on Max. I feel like not a lot of people know about this, so I feel like not a lot of people are going to smell like you, which is the goal. And last but not least, Valentino Donna. Now, at first I was like, okay, the bottle is to die for. Like, I want it because of the bottle. And then I sprayed it. And I was like, whoa, this smells very old lady-ish, like very floral, like a donna, like una doña, you know? I feel like they should just take the N out and just put a little accent on it and call it doña because it is a very doña-like scent. I mean, it's very mature, but I, when I wear this, I feel classy and I feel timeless and I feel expensive. As this sinks in, it gives you more like a vanilla musky vibe and it just... It's nice. It's a really nice one, and the bottle is just so pretty. I mean, <sighs> I love the bottle. I feel like it just describes me very well. So, Valentina Donna. I got this at Nordstrom because it is Nordstrom exclusive. I got the big one because I just want to spray my whole life 
away with perfume. So those were my beauty favorites. Now let's get into my songs. <laughs> I don't know how to talk to you, and I hope you can take it. I hope you can take it all. I'm too good to you. I'm way too good to you. I don't know how to talk to you. Last night, I got high expectations. Other than me, you're way all over. This going differently All for you to hit me with a hold on After I waited on you for so long Why you wanna be my love? Is it just for show? Why you wanna be my love? My love, my love Not your trophy, baby I won't let you show me off or shine Why you gotta fight with me at Cheesecake? You know I love to go there. Place for families and drive Camrys. I'm not someone you should trust, I know. Look in front of her and look at your back. I just wanna let you know that you're bad. It's about us right now, bro. Where you going? I'm with you. So that concludes my June favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. I'm trying to hide these hairy ass armpits right now. You know that feeling when you just look like Hagrid because... <laughs> It's drugstore, baby. They did really good with these lip. These lip. I really like that. Ba, 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 ba. I got a keratin, so my hair is so freaking oily. I literally have to contemplate what brush to use the microphone. First world problems. Okay. I'm telling you, New York is so freaking noisy. Thank you.